by Mitchell Trubisky. Now, I love Anthony Miller, and I like Mitch Trubisky a lot from a fantasy perspective as well. Since that week four game against Tampa Bay, we've really seen Trubisky shine as a fantasy quarterback. He's finished as a top 10 weekly option in five of his last six starts. And a lot of that has to do with his aggressiveness down the field. From weeks one through three, Trubisky was throwing it deep for 15 plus air yards on 15.4% of his passes. Since then, that number has almost doubled to 30.1%. And Trubisky also always brings it with his legs. He's averaging almost 36 rushing yards per contest, which essentially wipes out a turnover and a half per game. So even if he's interception prone, which he kind of is, it matters a lot less because of his rushing. That's why he's been such a beast in fantasy football. He's heaving it deep and he's also running the ball well. And as I just talked about with Anthony Miller, the Bears' schedule is pretty strong the rest of the way. Week 11 has somewhat of a tough matchup against Minnesota, but that's about it. And two of his three games during the fantasy playoffs are at home where he's been a lot better against teams who can post points in the Rams and the Packers. So in other words, Trubisky can't just be some conservative quarterback against those two teams. And he's playing at home. So I think that Mitch Trubisky is a fantastic trade target right now. And he's a target that would be cheaper than Cam Newton, who I mentioned earlier.